One of Idaho's most awe-inspiring natural wonders is the City of Rocks National Reserve. Located about three hours southeast of Boise, this otherworldly land of rolling hills and broad prairies is dotted with hundreds of granite formations jutting skyward from the high desert soil. This stark landscape looks much the same now as it did when Native Americans inhabited the area. And when settlers and gold rushers traveled the California Trail in search of new opportunities, the City of Rocks served as a landmark of progress on their grueling treks westward. Modern day visitors enjoy spacious and quiet surroundings, hiking and camping among the boulders, while rock climbers test their mettle at one of the many famous climbing spots found throughout the area. We are at the City of Rocks National Reserve. Not to our campground yet. In fact, we don't quite know where that is, but nevertheless, we're having Yeah, we, we finally got out of the car just because it's like crazy beautiful and just otherworldly. Reminds me of Joshua Tree in Southern California a little bit without the cactus. All right, we made it to our campsite. This is one of the more unique campsites I've ever, I've ever been on. So. And you can see we have some neighbors up there. Rock climbing heaven here. You call what we're doing today <laughs> trailblazing <laughs> finding our own route exploring go exploring there you go by uh finding and then losing and then finding trails again so because uh somebody didn't download any maps that would be me it's more fun this way yeah On an official trail, which is kind of nice. These are like some of the rock climbing places, Transformer, Bumble, which we were just under and just saw somebody top out on. So I, I think um, something that kind of came to me is that you could, obviously this is a, this is a rock climber's paradise. Like this is a mecca, a mecca for rock climbers, but we're not rock climbers. Um, so you, I really feel like you could come here just for the obviously for the geographic uniqueness of it as you drive in and as you 
camp amongst it, but also the, the trails. I mean, they're beautiful, right? And like you said, you go through, you know, so many different ecosystems. This looks nothing like where we're actually camping. Um, Even the difference between this side of the path and this side of the path. Yeah. So, uh, you know, for, for quiet and for, at least right now, zero crowds. Zero. There's zero people, really. There's people in the campground, but that's so just so widespread that you have no neighbors basically and whatever your interest it just disperses everybody right because this place is incredible i mean this is this is very unique and just uh gorgeous and two three days is a minimum yeah if you can't give it two to three days preferably but probably more yeah you're gonna go away and you're gonna be frustrated that, oh, you gotta I, come back. I didn't get to do enough. Well, we're on Box Top Trail, heading back towards camp. Turns out that's an uphill slog. And we ran into a couple earlier today, a young couple with a baby and a dog, cute dog, who mentioned that Box Top was a nice ramble. I think they lied. They wanted to see us old people suffer. Yeah, as we've gained elevation back heading towards camp, we've left the, the lush canyons and have gotten back into the, the high desert. Beauty of its own, for sure. And then Diana's nemesis, of course, paddle cactus, but it's miniature, so apparently that's less. Somehow that's less. Uh, threatening yeah. we made it back we did we found diana found a great shady spot in our otherwise pretty sunny campground um, or campsite excuse me uh, i think there is a theme here that i take most responsibility for and that's a tendency to do trails backwards <laughs> perhaps yeah <laughs> Uh, only because I love a challenge, <laughs> and apparently it's a challenge for me to read oh. or bring maps or anything. So we started out this hike uh, basically on trails, but they were, I think, trails to different rock formations, cut around, shortcut trails, and then ultimately we ended up on a quote-unquote official trail. And then we ended up um, hiking back up that box top, and lo and behold, we popped out back at our campground. <laughs> So uh, really lucky. Yep. Yeah, so again, we're gonna we're gonna share this beer. Show us. Show the. There's that beer. That pay it. And then uh, maybe go for a drive with some air conditioning and just kind of check out some of the other climbing spots. But uh, great day. So glad to be here for a second day. Um, I'm kind of tired. Yeah. Yeah. Ride in the morning. I mean, Ride in the morning. Not a insignificant hike. No, <laughs> as it turns out. So, anyway, onward and upward. Yeah. See ya. All right. We're heading out of City of Rocks. A wonderful, wonderful place. Exceeded expectations, although I didn't have any. If I had, they'd have been blown out of the hemisphere. It's kind of sad to be going, but the flies were getting on our nerves, so... <laughs> We're, we're heading out just a little bit early, but we're going to be back. Definitely. Absolutely a gorgeous place. So, uh, yeah. so much to offer. Yeah. Don't know if we hit the weather just perfect, but it was just perfect. Yeah. I'd come back this time of year again. I'm curious about like at the beginning of the season, let's say June. I think the the camping season is May to uh, October, so it's possible that as early as May it would be clear, like there wouldn't be any snow. So that could be a different experience. Um, I think we will be back towards the beginning of next summer because uh, I'm going to make campground reservations early enough. Our secret stash of campgrounds here, campsites, yeah. excuse me, that are... We did our reconnoitering. That's right. <laughs> so... Uh, I'll definitely be making reservations for those as soon as
soon as, as soon as they're available. But um, yeah, we're heading back down this valley to Alamo, and then we're gonna head north, uh, back to the 84, and then west, and head on home. Head on home. So, great trip. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. And if you did. We certainly did. Yeah, if you did, hit that subscribe button, the like button, whatever, because we're gonna keep doing these uh, in the future. So, take care.